this is Christo from ChristoSays.com with my first Windows 8 on desktop video. Well, the goal for this series is to help show those of us running Windows 8 on a desktop without a touch screen just how Windows 8 works with a mouse and keyboard. Today we're going to take a look at Microsoft's news app. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here on the start screen, News has a nice live tile that shows today's current top story from Bing News. If you don't want the app to update its live tile, you can simply right click on the tile. This will bring up a context menu with a few options. Here you can unpin the tile from the start screen, uninstall the app, toggle the size of the tile between small and large, and last turn off the live tile feature. This could be useful if you don't want the app running in the background draining battery life, or you just don't like the live tile feature. Okay, let's go ahead and open up news. If this is the first time opening news, it'll open up to today's top story. And if you want to read the top story, simply click anywhere in the headline picture. For those of you interested, you'll notice the information symbol in the picture's bottom right. Clicking that will give you the picture's caption along with the source credit. Beyond the top story, you can scroll over to see the news in the other topics. Here I have US news, which I'm going to assume is dependent on what country you live in. Then we have politics, world, technology, business, entertainment, and finally sports. Let's go back to my favorite topic, technology. You'll notice the news app has chosen a few stories to feature. You can click on any one to bring up the entire news article. Here, you can really see that this UI, formerly known as Metro, really tries to put the focus on content and not the Chrome. If you want to see some of the other stories, you can go back by clicking the back button in the top left, or use the back shortcut we should all be familiar with in web browsers. That's Alt plus left arrow. One other way to move between stories is to just scroll through them. News will automatically switch between the featured articles as you reach the end of the story. And, in case these stories just aren't enough, you can click on any of the topic headers. This will bring up all the collected articles relating to the subject. The UI and reading experience work just the same as it did earlier. The next feature I want to show you is one that I found very useful. That's the search feature. There are a few ways you can bring up the search screen, however. First, you can move your mouse to the top right, which will bring up the charm bar. From there, you can click on the search icon. It looks like a magnifying glass. This brings up search. You can also use the Windows key plus C to bring up the charm bar as well. But, if you're looking for a much quicker way to get to search without going through all those steps, just use the Windows key plus Q. This instantly opens up search for the app you're currently using. In Windows 8, the search feature is application dependent. So, if you're in news, using search will look through the various news articles related to your choice. Let's search for, mm, let's say, flamingos. Alright, well, there's more news related to flamingos than I thought there'd be. Here, you can scroll through the various flamingo-related articles and read to your heart's desire. I have one last thing to show you before we call it quits on the news app. If you right-click anywhere on the screen, that'll bring up this context menu. I'm not sure if that's the official name, but that's what I'm going to call it. You'll see this behavior in most of the apps. Normally it works as a kind of right-click menu. In News, what you find is a quick way for you to go to the home screen where the top story is, or quickly move between topics. You can also have your favorite news or see the various sources that the news app pulls from. Clicking on any of these source tiles will bring you to a collection of the selected sources articles. And then the last option is to check out various video clips available. Well, that's it for the news app right now. If there's something I've missed or a question you have, feel free to leave comments below.
I'm also looking for suggestions on what apps you want to see next, so please let me know. Until next time, this is Christo saying, later.